Hi guys, this is the Brain Cooling Dad, and welcome to another video of Vega Conflict. Uh, this time, uh, Golem Guardian is going to show us what he's got. With the level 60, the new level 60 VSEC attachment fleet. Uh, let's have a look. Oh shit, we missed it. Oh man, we missed the beginning. Okay, so he has, uh, he's got uh, a Ragnar Carrier with Deflector Shielding, and uh, three Dreads. One with Aurora Ray, second one with Echo Rays, and the third one with, I think, also, again, Aurora Rays. Okay, so, yep, and see, I mean, oh no, oh, it's the Gatling Gun, I didn't know, I didn't know, okay, cool. So, what, he, what he's showing off is that, uh, first of all, he's showing off his pink and red, uh, which I'm still very jealous of, and secondly, he's showing us um, how, how easy, well, how easy it is to do this event with the right fleet, obviously. So, um, and ouch, ah, damn, this didn't go well, I did it. Alright, I, I think he's got it though, he's got it, yeah, he's, he's got it, he's got it, so he's going, going to, ah, kill him. Oh, no way, sugar, how did you do the dread? No, I think he just um, strafed too long. Uh, so he got in the, into the firing range of these friggin' annoying eagle frigates, uh, which makes, uh, yeah, I mean, they're really annoying, so, so uh, anyway, uh, I think he can put in the rest of fairly easily. He still has 3 minutes, um, and only 2 zeals left, 3 eagles and 1 Corinthian cruiser, and uh, still those useless, friggin' annoying lands destroyers, which make totally no sense in this fleet whatsoever, which I have mentioned already in my previous video. And I mention it again, I mean, they, they basically um, force you, since you are running on a time limit, to suicide rush this fleet, and which extends, obviously, um, the repair time. So you don't have, you won't have the time, if you want to kite, as, as uh, Golden Garden here shows, uh, if you want to kite the fleet, you won't have the time to actually uh, go back uh, within a, uh, within, oh wow, look at that, no, he's gonna lose another threat. No, shit, and it's all my fault, he's gonna blame me. Anyway, so you won't, you won't have, uh, you won't have enough time to go back and destroy these, uh, destroyers. Um, yeah, due to the, due to the time limitation. And, I mean, look, look at these guys, seriously, they're like 5 million kilometers away. Uh, it's gonna take him at least a minute to traverse this, this space over here. Once, since he's already, since he's already at the edge. Uh, so, and he still has to take out one Z, two Zs and one Eagle for it. So I would say, yeah, it's uh, GG. <laughs> yeah, no man. Okay, that's uh, was a shitty pun right there. Well, um, okay, so he lost, uh, he lost two dreads, uh, but uh, bear in mind, this is wow, look at that. So this is a, it, this is a VSEC attachment level 60. So it's the, it's the latest. Upgrade to Kicks Eyes uh, Revolution, whatever uh, Fleet Revolution. So yeah. Um, uh, anyway, uh, so he's he's gonna to he's going yeah. Since he's uh, reaching the barrier, he's, uh, he's going to turn around now. Uh, he has to also make him. He, he has to yeah go back and try to get these land destroyers out of the way. Uh, ASAP. He still has one zeal at the back, which he can actually still destroy with his Ragnar carrier. And um, his dread should be fast enough in order to go and get um, uh, to these land destroyers. If he actually, no, he won't do it. So he's gonna go, he, he returns. Um, okay, he's turning around in order to get the zeal. Won't have enough time left to, to do the land destroyers. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Tonk is a uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, he's uh, he's uh, making fun of me. Uh huh. Very funny. Anyway, um, so what else what I wanted to say? Oh no, no, no! He's oh my god, he took the hit. No way, for real. That was so bad. Oh man, this is all oh, my fault. He's gonna blame me for the repair time. Well, I mean, he's he's done the event already. He's I think at 1.9. Oh, what was it? 1.6 or 1.9 million points. So um, he's got a lot of uh, rest, um, a lot of a lot of points left for the rest exchange, and also, <laughs> I mean, he can just yeah, this is this is just uh, this is just fun for him. Um,
<laughs> yeah, okay, so what he did is he, he lost um, he lost uh, two, two and a half dreads, basically, just two dreads, let's say two dreads, and, uh, and that shows you how, how stupidly uh, uh, arranged this um, this lead is. Uh, it doesn't make any, I mean, really, um, in the sense of, a, of a, an aggressive um, force, uh, um, let, let's go over this. Okay, let's go over the premises uh, Visek set. Okay, so Visek set the, the story premise that um, uh, they they want to totally retaliate uh, since uh, Iron Star and um, all all of these uh, all of the freelancers uh, teamed up and uh, kicked uh, Visek's butt. Right? So now um, Visek is throwing. Um, at us, um, these detachment fleets. So hence, also this upgrade to level 60 fleets uh, and the increased number of sh uh, the ship detail within the fleet. So you've got 10 ships instead of um, uh, instead of uh, usually six. Well, I mean, uh, everybody has uh, six ships available. Right? So this is a this is a massive increase. Uh, the highest we had uh, so far um, uh, was uh, I think it was nine. Uh, do uh, during the Zeal event we. We had nine ships and now we have ten uh, okay so I don't have any any problems with, uh, problems with that but now um, you get um Oh, look at this! V seconds. Oh, look at this! Oh, cool! That's awesome. So Golem uh, just uh, unlocked another uh, base attack. So let's have a look at his base. Wow! Damn. Oh, I haven't seen these guys over here. Wait, what? Okay, so they're actually different types of um, um, bigger um, base fleets, um, level 43s. I had a lame one. Uh, mine was uh, full of. Um, I think a few lands, yeah, four lands destroyers, uh, a few destinies, and yeah, 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 so that was nothing. But these were, um, well, that was it, first rate uh, Corinthian cruisers, and they're gone, and he gets another 46 million, for how many points? I think 46,000. Anyway, so yeah, back to my point. Um, uh, so yeah, we have uh, we have these uh, four zeals in the fleet. Um, I think uh, four eagles, uh, uh, one Corinthian cruiser. No wait, that, that's uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta have a look again. Let's have a look again. So we have uh, this is basically the same thing, just uh, high difficulty. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We had four zeals. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, yep. Uh, check. So we have. Two eagle frigates, check one Corinthian and four uh, two lance destroyers. Yeah, so four, two six, two eight. Yeah, that's ten ten ships. Uh, <coughs> okay, so um, basically, um, what this fleet forces you to do, since you can't, uh, you can't run away and kill the faster ships. Um, and destroy the slower ships at the, in the in the same run in a single run, uh, since uh, the the the, the, um, uh, the movement speed of uh, the the combat speed of those land destroyers is super slow. Uh, so yeah, um, which is yeah, which forces you either to decide if you want to just. Uh, Partially destroy the fleet, so hence uh, just uh, destroy all the fast, um, all the fast ships. Um, which means uh, you destroy the Corinthian cruiser, you destroy the Eagle frigates, you destroy, um, uh, you destroy the Zeals, uh, and uh, let those uh, two land destroyers be. Uh, do them either in the second round or just let them be in general. Um, which is kind of again, I mean, really, uh, it, it's. it's uh, this is the decision you have to make, this is the call you have to make. Either you do that or you do a head-on fight uh, with this music. Um, uh, risk a lot of repair time but uh, and leave him, I mean the thing is you can be basically what you can, there, there's no pilot skills uh, necessary if you want to do that. You just uh, let him on, uh, on order because uh, as soon as music gets into range uh, and if they 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 are fly patterns in that way that they try to circle you around uh, circle around you and uh, around your ships and um, basically get you into a crossfire. So there is this is basically a suicide run. Um, so if you have the perfect, I mean even if you have the perfect shielding, uh, uh, which is impossible <laughs> unless you have made a physic shielding, which is. Uh, not good enough since it, let, it lets through uh, it's bleed, it lets um, through 20% of damage. 
So any either way, I mean anyhow, there's no way you can mitigate damage whatsoever and um, uh, get 100% uh, get a get a 100% kill of a fleet within a single within a single round. Unless you are you are you have um, uh, pretty high level fleets, as in I don't know uh, maybe Ragnarok, uh, a few dreads, and then time it's so good that. Uh, you can uh, kill. Oh, look at that! Someone is killing a thief, uh, so that you can uh, really fast uh, kill. Uh, <laughs> killing a thief with an eagle. Uh, um, kill. Um, yeah, kill, kill all these fast ships, and then actually in time return uh, to those lands across and kill them as well. Uh, which is, uh, I mean, in my opinion, I haven't, I haven't seen this happening yet. Uh, maybe there's some. Pro players, you know, this is all awesome pro players out there um, who, who calculate the time they need uh, to destroy all these fast ships and then, you know, uh, and, uh, give them give themselves the time limit in order to return to uh, to make a U-turn and return uh, towards uh, the land destroyer. So I mean, most probably it's, it's possible. But uh, we are talking here about uh, average players. Not everybody is a pro player. And, I mean, I don't think uh, most of the most of the bigger bigger conflict players are pro players. Uh, so yeah, it, it just uh, it's 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 really I don't know. It's just this is one of these events uh, I really don't enjoy regarding the repair time. I mean, I just I just lost again. I have another four and a half hours repair of repair time. Thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks to uh, a stupid, uh, stupid, what, well, stupid uh, thing, VSEC uh, does. They are speed buffed. Uh, I mean, without comprehension, seriously. Uh, so they catch up to, um, uh, not particularly to the airport, but uh, with a rear, to a rear five uh, Valhalla uh, carrier, uh, which is another thing I really. Uh, I mean, the thing is, they are already buffed as it is. They have, they have a mixed fleet. They have, uh, they have uh, sickles. They have AP drivers. They have energy drivers. So they basically deal every type of damage. And uh, either way, they will uh, make you suffer in, in terms of repair time. So and then and then giving them a speed buff and then also range buff and yeah yeah yeah. So it kind of adds up. Um, uh, there, there are too many buffs, um, even for me sake, I mean, wow, really, uh, <laughs> it's just, you gotta, uh, you gotta be a little bit, I mean, a little bit consistent in, within the law and within the possibilities you have, um, and not OP um, uh, ships, event ships, uh, just because you can do so. Uh, this is this is not the one. I mean, this is the thing where um, this kind of breaks the um, uh, immersive gameplay. Uh, this is uh, this makes it just another grind uh, where you know it's a grind since you experience it so due to um, these horrendous repair times, and you know it's just uh, in order to uh, in order for people to point. So there's um, there's just 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 that to say. Um, yeah, uh, sorry for my sniffing by the way, <laughs> I'm still sick, um, I'm getting better though, I think I'm getting better. Um, yeah, well, uh, this, is, this is basically what I had to say about this. Um, thanks, Golem, uh, really appreciate your <laughs> your loss, your heart loss, uh, showing us um, your awesome uh, tactic uh, with three dreads, uh, your Ragnar Cruiser, and sacrificing it for the greater good, uh, showing us uh, um, how you did, uh, how you completed this event. Uh, I will try to get my, um, I'll try to get it done as well. Uh, most probably uh, wear my level 53 fleet with uh, three Mark two Revelation cruisers, a one Valhalla um, carrier, and two regular Revelation cruisers, and see if I can, you know, wear them down. Um, until I get this event done, I still haven't chosen. Oh yeah, about the rewards. <laughs> I haven't mentioned the rewards yet. I mean, I guess there are so many videos out there. I uh, I really don't really bother to to watch whatever um, other players have to offer, um, everything wise. Uh, but uh, I guess I should have started with this. So we have um, this is the revenge event, as, as you know already. Um, it comes with many more details, so uh, Kix has uh, done a good job is in uh, providing uh, more information. Uh, but useful or not, I mean they're not really useful. Um, 
Uh, but they show you that uh, how many ambush shots you have uh, you retrieved so far, attacks on bases. Uh, then it gives you, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, it gives you a small um, brief um, message about what's going on over here. So um, it actually tells you, yeah, what you might expect. So base defenses, um, yeah. So prepare your base defenses and join the fight to control blah 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 blah. blah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the future rebellion. Uh, so the thing is, I mean, the story is still a little bit weird. Um, um, uh, Iron Star, the, the, this um, elusive, oh, elusive, uh, this uh, fictional company called Iron Star uh, apparently uh, attacked uh, Vega and said it was successful. So, uh, so in order, and, ordered, and uh, we are kind of ally allied with these with the Iron Star uh, uh, Corporation. Uh, so now we have Vega on the other side, which is uh, the other corporation, and um, they are throwing out. Um, I don't know, information, uh, misinformation, uh, and uh, said that Iron Star's attack failed and that, um, that they they are kind of hitting us back. So now we don't know what's going on, really. Um, so if this is actually true, since, well, it is, um, it seems to be uh, as, a, as, a, as if uh, <laughs> Vega is uh, actually now really stronger than they ever were um, since they throw in this level 60 um, detachment fleet um, out there. But um, I don't know, I mean, again, this is, this is kind of. Um, this is one of these things again uh, consistency. You know, within the story lore, I mean, you can make up any shit you want. You can, you, you can give him. Uh, uh, you can bring in the Reavers from Mass Effect 3, sorry for that, but uh, I mean, this is the thing, I mean, you can bring in any shit, you can give uh, Vega a Mega Destroyer, uh, but if you want to stay consistency within this lore now, I mean, within this universe they created and within the story, especially uh, since they also have brought out um, these uh, comic books, so... Um, there, there, there has to be now. I mean, they have to decide what they want, what they want, what, what they want with Vega conflict, what they want to show, um, what they want with um, Vega cooperation, what, what they want with Iron Star cooperation, and what they want um, to happen with um, all the freelancers. And uh, you know, so um, is Vega now this big cooperation getting stronger, or are they getting slowly weaker? And yet. So these are the things they have to decide on, uh, and it, it seems uh, as if, as if there's, I mean, as if they they didn't really make up their minds uh, yet, or it's just um, something they they don't really bother with um, further developing or developing in details, because details are important, and this is a quote: um, <laughs> details are important. Uh, who's it? Uh, oh yeah, that's that's a quote from. Uh, gaming sense right there <laughs> and they are really important I mean there's so many details um, I, I would like to mention um, but they're really important over here anyway so let's come to the prizes so we have either <coughs> base magnets one or uh, interceptor wings so for you guys who have missed the interceptor wings you can um, now ah right the interceptor wings is from uh, launch from the fleet bay. Well, I mean you got these now. These are for the fleet bay. I'm not really interested uh, More interested in, in uh, phase magnets Which is really funny. I mean these are now it's, it's another thing um, So <coughs> oh damn now it goes So you got that phase magnets. This is basically well, yeah, it's phase magnets. Uh, it's a mix of uh, phase projectors and um, um, yeah, I really make it so they make it faster and uh, go through shields again, dealing armor damage, which means also again increasing repair time. Um, as I said in one of my previous rants or earlier videos uh, about uh, this uh, move by kicks, is um, that everything goes uh, towards damaging armor, attacking armor, or increasing armor in order to increase repair time if they get damaged. So. Not a big fan of it, and I really hope that they <laughs> will introduce a different uh, fictional um, uh, fictional uh, company, uh, which is maybe hopefully has a different ship designs, um, which are more you know shield based or something, so not armor based. Uh, yeah, this is my hope, and I, I really pray for it. <laughs>
Um, I must say though, with the top price of the Makati Destroyer, uh, it really makes sense um, to have more armor. Uh, since destroyers, they don't really last long in a, in a base attack anyways. Uh, unless they're really good or have good decoys, but I mean, there, there's only that good decoys can be. And uh, they have to take a lot of damage and uh, they really don't last, well, not, not, not long. Uh, so we have this uh, Makati uh, destroyer, which has um, well, a fairly low uh, base health, but it has two armor slots. So you can actually put Iridium 3 on, Seed 3 type, uh, um, level 3 times 2 on, and then you have two specials, um, for example, Rear 5 and uh, Face Magnets 5. <coughs> so that's possible. And it's really good. I mean, this is. This is where I say armor makes sense for destroyer. Since I mean you will use one fleet of destroyers once and then let them repair overnight. But with other ships, it doesn't really make sense to put like, for example, the this useless heretic cruiser. Sorry to say that again, but it really doesn't make sense to um, um, yeah to there we go where are the blueprints. Where is the heretic cruiser? Uh, there we go. It doesn't really make sense uh, to. Um, yeah, cruisers to use armor or high armor. Anyway, uh, but the possibility is there, so it's cool. Anyways, I mean, obviously uh, you gotta have all these options. Um, for me, it's still a useless ship. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's uh, that's what I had to say about being complete. Thanks, Colum, again for showing us um, how to do a level 60. Uh, VSEC detachment fleet. Uh, I hope you guys like this. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below in the section uh, in the comment section below. That would be really helpful and uh, spread the word of VRA and the brain cooling dead. Alright <laughs> uh, guys, uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, also next coming up is War Rage Gameplay. Oh yeah, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, this is the Brain Cooling Dead and I'm signing off.